so hello there was one more question asked in the hpcl and that was related to the maximum power transfer theory right see basically first they started with the what do you mean by the maximum power transfer theorem we understand maximum power transfer theorem for dc is that if your rl become equal to rs so under such condition we call this a matched load under this condition we call this a matched load and if the load is matched the maximum power is transferred the maximum power is transferred we understand this point from source to load right so the question later on they framed an audio amplifier produces an rms output of 20 volts so it is a rms value so i can consider it as a fixed value right kind of dc value the amplifier output voltage is rated the amplifier output resistance it should be resistance not voltage it should be resistance not voltage resistance is rated at 4 ohm you are given four four ohm speakers how should you connect speaker for the maximum acoustic power so directly after this discussion this question was you know put it there so if we go for the solution we can do one thing this is my audio amplifier and audio amplifier specifications are given that terminal voltage is equal to 20 volt rms and its terminal resistance is i guess 4 ohm it is connected to speaker the load is speaker and there are four 4 ohm speaker this is the load and load we have option of 4 4 ohm speaker so to get the maximum acoustic power what should be the arrangement how the speaker need to be arranged so we can make its equivalent circuit representations plus minus this is the voltage which is nothing else 20 volt and this is the internal resistance which we called the output impedance of speaker which is 4 ohm so here I need to connect such load for the maximum acoustic power for the maximum power transfer condition so that this RL also become 4 ohm if I wanted the maximum acoustic power flow maximum acoustic power flow ok first of all I am going with the maximum power transfer theorem so if I have 4 4 ohm speaker how I can get 4 ohm let us say one resistance 4 ohm second speaker 4 ohm third speaker 4 ohm and fourth speaker 4 ohm so if I connect them in parallel this is 4 ohm this is 4 ohm this is 4 ohm one option is this one so they were assisting you whether we need to connect them in parallel series or you know what is the method or approach you will follow so if i see here equivalent r equivalent that turns out to be 1 ohm so 1 ohm is not the right solutions so if i connect them in series one speaker second speaker third speaker and fourth speaker now its equivalent turns out to be 4 ohm 4 ohm and this is also 4 ohm this is also 4 ohm it turns out to be total 16 ohm again which is not the wise connection i need 4 ohm why not connect any one of them there will be perfect matching okay so just connect or just use single speaker of resistance 4 ohm so i will get this circuit so what will be pl pl will be here simply you know vt square upon 
4 RL. So, which turns out to be 20 square upon 4 into 4. So, if I go for the calculation, this values turns out to be 25 watt I guess 400 upon 4 into 4 so this is 25 watt so this I did with maximum power transfer theorem apart from this we can verify the condition let us do one thing first case if we see the series combination of speaker series combination of speaker series combination of speaker you can think either way also okay series combination of speaker the entire circuit will become this is my you know audio amplifier this is my its internal resistance that is 4 ohm and this was 20 volt and if i connect them in series the load resistance becomes 16 ohm okay this i can consider a kind of under such condition what will be current current will be 1 ampere fine this is the load current and if i ask you load power load power or acoustic power delivered to the load that will be simply il square multiplied by rl so this turns out to be 1 square into 16 so the answer is 16 watt under such condition if i consider the parallel combination of speaker the parallel combination of speaker in parallel combination of speaker what is going to happen in parallel combination of speaker i will get the same you know audio amplifier circuit this is let us say 20 volt and this is let us say you know 4 ohm and in parallel i have told you this resistance become 1 ohm equivalent load resistance if 4 4 ohm resistor are connected in series so current here will be i guess 4 ampere if current here is 4 ampere this pl turns out to be 4 square into 1 again the 16 watt and if i use any one of the speaker that will give me the 25 watt okay so the the best you know or loudest choice would be surprisingly the single speaker fine so what i will go with i will go with the best choice is to use the single speaker best choice or advisable is to use single speaker to use single speaker that's it so like this there are so many questions based on the network theory and they extend a question bit in the real application based problem fine so you can verify by doing the mathematical calculation you can see 16 watt 16 watt and in earlier when you were using the single you were getting the 25 watt okay so this is the largest in all the cases or either apart from this if you don't want to go mathematically you can use this concept maximum power transfer theorem for the matched load condition that is when your load resistance is equal to internal resistance there will be the maximum power flow from the source to load simple right thank you